Hey guys, so this is Last Where You Can. We are coming at you with a new series, uh, or more of like a tutorial slash first look at RimWorld. It'll be, maybe be a series depending on how you guys like it, how not, you know. But we'll just do a quick, probably like 30 minute playthrough right now, uh, just to get the feel of the game. So, here we are. Um, and it's, a, a, for those of you who aren't aware what this is, it is a colony survival simulator. So, the three of you awake in the crypt crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship's torn apart. Sometime later, you land on the unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you make plans to survive. Oh my goodness. We're alive. You're like weirdly naked. But this actually looks like uh I don't even know if we need to build anything. We might just claim this. Alright, so first things first is you're going to want to get shelter in this game. That's going to be the key to your uh, party survival. So what I'm doing right now is there are just random buildings that, see like we actually are blessed with a few random buildings there, there, and there that we can probably just take up and use immediately. So what we're doing is we're just going to take this one right away. Um, I don't want to really mess around a whole lot, I just want to make sure we get some shelter. And then we're going to keep moving. I haven't played much farther beyond just trying to obtain shelter, so we will see how this all goes. Alright, I think we got that. Alright, now let's go to the thing. Let's go architecture, something tab, whatever. We're going to have two zones, stockpile, and then dumping. The difference between the dumping stockpile and just your regular stockpile is stockpile will just put like your actual main resources there. Whereas like the dumping will be, um, it will more so be like rocks and stuff, you know, unprocessed raw goods. So let's get them to haul these out of there. Clear up this little, this little area, this little grotto of ours. So we're lucky that we get to save on our steel. That's a positive. We'll use it for nice things like a bed. We got a bed. I prefer that we do, in fact, have sound walls around us and a door. So we are getting all those neat things, hopefully. I don't know why all these things are forbidden. So here they are. As you can see, like you know, like the processed stuff is going to our regular stockpile right here. The unprocessed, the raw goods, they're all just going right to. Um, right to the dumping one. Next thing we're gonna want to do is get a growing zone. If we have any seeds or anything on us, the colonists will immediately just start planting them, which is good for us. No, I don't... Ugh, can't believe... I don't like that. Do it back here. And then, yep, he'll start growing, looks like, potato plants. I guess that's what we have on hand. I won't ask any questions. Let's chop those down. Alright, cool. So, as you can see, we're doing some wall upgrades. We're getting this stuff ready. Uh, so right now, we got some shelter. It's all good. It is all good. Slates. And then, see here, like, I'll actually look at the orders. So mining only pertains to these large rocks here. Oh, see, so that is steep. Okay. So, yeah, mining is only, it only can, is stuck to this. Oh, wow, this guy's already just going ahead and putting a roof on. Nice. 
did not know that's how it worked. All right. So deconstruct, deconstruct is, you know, either if I want to take away this building or if I just want to go to these other buildings, take them away. Mining is reserved for these large rock formations here that you see. You know, that's how you get them, or that's how you take away these things. The little individual boulders you see, that's just for hauling. You can move them right away without on your own. Uh, cut plants, uh, pretty self-explanatory, just these little bushes here. Some of them will be like raspberries and stuff, so, you know, might get some food. Yeah, like this one right here. You know, we can harvest that, those raspberries. I'll tell someone to do that. Oops. Well, whatever. Alright, next one is chop wood. Obviously, you're chopping wood. Hunting is when we uh, mark animals to be hunted by your hunters. So, obviously, you see some, you know, very descriptive turkeys and boars just wandering around. Um, and I guess a rat. Yeah, it's a rat. Um... You can also tame these things, as you can see. We can tame it. I don't know what exactly taming a rat or any of these things would do. Maybe we're just kind of like domesticating them and then using them to breed. Um, but we'll find out. Uninstall is, I guess, just like maybe removing like some of these things. Strip, uh, strip apparel from the corpses and the wounded. Open, open, full graves or containers. Obviously a little shady. Hey. He, oh, he's one of ours. Okay. I guess we can slaughter the animal if we really wanted to. And she is cleaning up the rubble. Awesome. Let's see what else we can get going in here. Probably just like sculpting. Okay, lantern, stove. Okay. Sealed stove. Okay, so I guess it would be for like meat and stuff. Maybe we can add something like that now. I mean, because we have, we know where our, we know where our steel's at. Yeah, we know. Oops. So we're gonna get that going. I don't even know how that's gonna work. I guess you know, we have logs, so I'm assuming that will work. Our builder's going ahead though. This guy's planting. That's all good. Hopefully he will also. Okay, to make this work, open the bills tab. Okay. All right. Equipped weapons. Uh, Big Red so far seems to be the most important guy, so... I kind of want him to hold the rifle. <laughs> so, that's another thing in this game, is that we will have raiders, we will have people coming around to uh, mess with our good time, so hopefully that- oh, we did have components, eh, whatever. Um, we will have those people trying to harass us. Oh, sweet, you can set a big red. So they all got beds. Let's see here. What else can we do right now? Animal bed. Do we have cloth? I don't even know if we have such luxuries now. Oh. Oh snap. Big Red and O'Neal are gonna be doing the dirty. Looks like Big, Big Red is the one kind of doing everything. I guess Rush is also kind of doing his own thing, but I don't know. Big Red seems to be the, the real head honcho here. Let's see, what else can we eat? I 
don't even know if we really need this right now, or if I should even really be doing it, but... It seems right, you know? I want to make them feel as human as possible. Big Red, where you at? Big Red? Oh, he's sitting there. Okay. Where's that thing over there? Some guys are steam service. So nothing we really need. It's three. Right. We're looking pretty good right now. We are looking pretty good. So that was kind of a neat little tutorial on how to... Uh, sign. We're gonna just put everyone in the tag. Oh, no, I guess we can't. So I guess we'll just have everyone in this fleet. <laughs> Cause I don't want anyone to die. Who's that? That definitely looked like a human. Oh no. Slow bunny. Holy crap. Jesus, Big Red. Wow, you are really going at the distance. Nailed him. What do you do? Like, how can you help us out? You're just social and artistic. And you're a female. You don't really do a whole lot for us, O'Neill. Gotta be honest here. We need that lamp. But... So we do need like bills. Now, how does one do anything with him? Oh, cook, simple meal. Yeah, that seems right. There we go. We got some meals cooking. We only cook one. Forever, man. Go on with your bad self. What are we gonna do with these things? Otherwise, oh, that's why. If we don't, we just spoil. Whatever. But, looks like we got that going for us, so that's not so bad. I mean, I guess if I had to give my quick two cents on this game, is that it, it, it seems pretty neat. Um, I'm hoping it has a little bit more direction than, like, say, Prison Architect did, because Prison Architect didn't really give you a whole lot. Um, you're just kind of there to build, but obviously they, it seems like they have storytelling, so hopefully some other stuff will get thrown our way. Obviously this is a massive world to explore and do fun stuff in, and obviously the, a base. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So maybe that's calling for us to expand the base a little bit. But we need defenses. We've been here for some time, we'll probably be seen. We've probably been seen. Okay. Well. Alrighty. Uh, 
Ah, so this is how you make a generator. Get this guy to... Boom. Oh no, Big Red, come on, man. Hey. Come on, big rib. Big red is like really like the bee's knees of this of this group. I don't really know if anyone else could actually help us out that much. Alright, I'm kinda of wondering if we like if I tame this boar. What happens? Oh Neil, are you gonna are you gonna take care of this? You're the only one with like the animal whisperer. But that's cool. We got some power. Oh, oh, visitors. Everything requires steel, even sandbags. They're like, they're steel bags at that point. Whatever. I ain't gonna judge. That's fine with me. Uh, I don't know, like, where's like a logical place? Like, I guess closest to like where our door is. You know? Um, we need batteries. Another night rests on our sleepy little town. Low food? What? How do I butcher this thing? Ah. We will call it Last Brohican. Named it after me. Because they're so nice. Community is now known as Last Brohican. Can't be mad about that. Cannot be mad about that. Alrighty, so now we got a battery. So if we harvest that, do we get anything? Nope. Whoops. Alrighty, so that didn't work the way I wanted it to. How do I... Hmm. <laughs> it's a hopper. 
Okay. Shoes are those. Nope. Nothing we need here. The how I harvest the hair though. How does one do that? Whatever. Right now, we just need to get worried. Some more food for us. But. Alright, well. We seem to be kind of trucking a little bit. Um, for the next episode, if there is one, we will all just wait and see how you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments if you do. Um, we'll all figure out how to uh, actually harvest the meat of animals. And then we will keep living on in the lo our lovely town of Last Brohican. Actually, I kind of want to see if this battery works. Is this battery going to work the way I wanted it to? Looks like it. So far, so good. Nice! So, this game seems pretty intuitive. Um, you can still have prisoners, like a prison architect. Ooh. Ooh, excuse me, guys. Sorry. Um, then we'll also probably learn how to tame some animals, and um, we'll learn how to tame and eat them. That will probably be our, our um, jobs for the second episode. Um, so I just want to say thank you very much for thank you very much guys for watching um, and as always happy gaming gamers